Ace Money the name, getting paid for the game. My goal is to help you get that money by sharing my picks as well as some useful knowledge and betting techniques. Now, while we go over this recap, I'd like to get right into these picks so we can get in and out like a BNE with handicappers. So it's the SBR, Sportsbook Robbery. I'm Ace Money, and this is Sportsbook Robbery. It's uh, Monday Night Football, 11-11. 2024. 11-11. Make a wish, right? When I was a kid and on the clock, it would be 11-11. They said make a wish. So we're making a wish. Cash all these bets. Uh, we got Dolphins going in to play uh, the Rams. Dolphins 2-6, and six, Rams 4-4. Four and four. Um, Two is back. I believe he came back last week. Um... I think, uh, you know, God, we can only pray that he stays healthy and doesn't get uh, clocked around again, right? Uh, Rams, one in four in their last five games. One in four in their last five against the spread. One in three in their road games against the spread. Uh, still playing at home, so that's on the tent. Totals have gone over in two of the Rams' last five games. Totals have gone over two of the Rams' last four home games. Dolphins, two and three in their last five. Mind you, they got two in, and they lost a close one of my Bills last week. Um, before that, you know what I mean? You expect them to lose. Uh, one and four in their last five against the spread. Two and two on the road against the spread. Uh, gone over in one. Of the last five games, which did go over last game, uh, games before that, they just couldn't move the ball at all with uh second string guy, I forget his name. Uh, was it Humphrey? Or uh, I don't remember his name. I know who he is, though. He kind of reminded me of like a, a weak ass Lamar. Uh, the totals have gone over in two of Dolphins' last four at home. So, uh, I think two is going to have a better game. They got a little more familiar, familiar. They're getting a little more in tune with each other. Um, with his name, held it in practice all week. So, I'm pretty sure he's going to play, but who knows? You know, one good hit. I think he's got a wrist injury, too. Uh, Miami, shit, last place in points per game. Rams, uh, 18th, 21 points. Uh, yards a game, Miami's ranked 19th. The Rams, yards a game, offense ranked 17th. But, uh, yeah, I'll just run through it real quick. Nothing crazy. Uh, third town conversions, rank 14. None of this stuff. I mean, it's kind of skewed because I haven't had the number one quarterback. Uh, Rams have the 23rd and third down conversion percentage. So that's still pretty bad, if you ask me. <laughs> Russian, Russian yards a game, uh, rank ninth. So Miami's doing all right. Uh, most of them been fumbling the shit out of that ball. So, uh, I think H Han is gonna be their number one back. Get most of the carries. Uh the Rams giving up 135 yards a game. Ranked 25th. Rams only getting 97 yards a game rushing. Uh ranked 26th. And uh, he's giving up 120, ranked 13th. It's crazy. Man can't run the ball no more. Uh, Kyron Williams, right? That's his name. We got uh, passing yards a game. Miami, 24th. I mean, that's crazy. It's never been like that. But he hasn't been there. So, 191 yards a game. The Rams have given up 225 yards a game, right? 24th. And the Rams are getting 231 yards a game, rank 8th. Mind you, most of that's been without Cup and uh, Puka. 
Miami do got they do have a great uh, back end over there, rank six, giving up 183 yards. So that, it should be a good competition to prime time game. Run through it so you guys can check it out, check it out, check it out. Uh, I do have uh, some play props. Let's get into that. Going to a uh, passing touchdowns over one and a half. FanDuel, 113. Um, LA, passing defense for uh, touchdowns, ranked 28th. Basically giving up two. His first game back. He uh, did he come back to twenty seventh? Yeah, well, I guess he did. He's been back two weeks. Yeah, must have obviously. Uh, last week for his Buffalo, two touchdowns, prime time game. Um, I just think he's gonna get two touchdowns, at least two. I don't think much more than two. Uh, H. been running that ball real well. We got Moster at the goal line, too. But like I said, he's been fumbling. I think H. Hand's going to do most of the work. Uh, H. Hand series receiving back as well. So it could be passing to the running back or uh, tight ends, um, Smith. And, uh, and they got many options in the wide receiver. Uh, I think the timing is going to be on track. Uh, big game. Prime time, the only one on, it's, it's time to show that they, they mean business. Uh, I think it's going to be a high-scoring game. Um, yeah, so let's get it to a, over one and a half touchdowns. HM rushing yards over 56 and a half. Number's still kind of low. Uh, FanDuel minus 110. Uh, the last three games cleared it. Uh, he's normally was back number two, more of the receiving back, but uh, he's quick, agile. Uh, can definitely get around the edge and bust out some yards. Um, Most has been fumbling, like I said. So he didn't even Most didn't play the whole fourth quarter last game. So uh, he's just been getting more carries. They got Most of his numbers at like thirty something still. So it's trying to, sh at least the way I'm reading it, is that a is going to be the number one back. Uh, L.A., not good against the run, ranked 25th. Uh, to the running back position, ranked 23rd. So, um, yeah, I just think he's going to get his opportunities. Run game opens up the pass game. Um, 15, 10, and 12 carries the last three games. Averaging about five yards a rush. Um, each hand lead on each hand rushing attempts almost doubled most of it. So, yeah, I'm not worried about this number. Definitely a good back prime time. Let's get each hand. I like his receiving yards, but they're just too high 50 something. Uh, once you got it in the beginning of the week, you know, like the 30s or something, it's just way too high. I'm not saying he won't go over it. Uh, you could add them together. I just think he'll go over the rushing yards. Um, yeah, so let's get it. Uh, you can check out his first quarter. First quarter rushing yards as well. 13 and a half. I'm sure he'll go over that. He didn't hit it last game versus Buffalo, but he's hit it three before that. So uh, five yards a carry. If he gets three carries, you know, hopefully, I mean, especially if they get two possessions, he'll smash this number. You could go that way. Did go down. L.A. ranked 25th receiving yards to tight end. They are ranked 24th, giving up about 60. Uh, Juno Smith has cleared this three out of the last four. A uh, couple of them pretty easily. The thing that helped me lean towards this, too, is the amount of receptions and targets he's been getting. Six last game. Core five out of six. Core four out of six. Seven out of seven. Five out of eight. 
Uh, they're giving him the opportunities. You know, the other guys get covered. Tight end fills that soft spot, runs the slant, you know, in little 10 yard plays. Um, he's third in the team in reception to, uh, targets, I mean. He's got 40 targets, A Chan got 42, and the Hills got 56. And Miami is definitely a pass team before the run. Uh, average yard per reception, averaging nine for the year. So, yeah, you should be able to go over this, um, especially if Hill's not 100%. Um, so, I kept it simple. Uh, Stafford, over one and a half touchdowns. Same thing with Tua. Expected to go over. Uh, Primetime game. Definitely a potential. Both teams to be good. Good receivers, decent quarterbacks. Um, shit, Rams don't have a run game, so he's going to be passing the ball. Uh, since he's got back uh, Cup, Puka, uh, pretty sure it was this game. Uh, he had He's had six touchdowns. So, um, yeah, I expect him to go over it. Uh, Miami does have a good backcourt. Backcourt, it's basketball. Um, good uh, DBs and stuff, safeties, but uh, Stafford's got Cup and Puka, and they just, I feel like their numbers are just inflated. It's not that they won't go over them. I, I just think this is the easiest route. Uh, yeah, so let's get it. Stafford, two touchdowns. Red zone attempts, passing, 4-7 the last two games. Uh, yeah, I just think he's going to go over it. That's why I played it. Let's get it. Matthew Stafford. Rams got a lot of weapons, as well as the Dolphins. But, uh, you know, Cup, Puka, and Dolphins having such a good back – Back end over there. Um, might give Robinson an opportunity a few times throughout the game because he's not going to have the best guy covering him. Um, he got his number pretty low. You can actually get it at 24 and a half. Big discrepancy, minus 130 on FanDuel. Got it at 170 on DraftKings. Uh, it might say 25 plus. When you look, sometimes they're different, so just keep an eye. Um, I cleared this almost every time. So uh, yeah, I am jumping on it. Jumping on it. Uh, number would did go up 28 to 31, but you're able to get it at 25 right now. So let's get it. Uh, Miami third overall receiving yards, ranked fourth. But. Uh, yeah, this is one catch for him. Nine targets, six receptions last game, which is a lot for him. He normally gets around three. But uh, he just needs to get one. He gets a lot of them deep balls, you know, long throws. 39-yard reception last game, 25 to one before. So he's definitely capable of breaking one off. Succeeded 31 and a half in uh, 12 of his last 15 games, averaging 46. And uh, so far for the year, he's third on the team in targets, 38. So, uh, yeah, let's get it. All right, uh, if you could like the video, new viewers, if this works out for you, hit that subscribe button and... Uh, yeah, let's have a good day. It's money the name, getting paid for the game. Let's go. I appreciate everyone. If you got time, leave a comment.